Six thirty in the evening here. Good time. <laughs> en la tarde acá, buen tiempo. Sí, Mandar City. Yeah. I'm sure the art is happening there, you know. Están pasando el arte. And, and over, over arte videos inside. <coughs> Jai Dada Bhagwan, Jai Dada Bhagwan. <clears throat> Jai Dada Bhagwan, glory to Dada Bhagwan. Glory to Dada Bhagwan. Yeah. And we are in the 55, 5, 5 session today, 55th session of Purnatva, the uh, towards the absolute self. Hmm? Hoy estamos en la sesión número 55 de nuestro libro Hacia el Ser Absoluto, Purnatva. Mm -hmm. We are on page 65, so let me go there, but before I go there, we let us begin the three mantra. One person, please begin the three mantra. Hmm? <clears throat> Gaby, ¿quieres cantar el three mantra? ¿Qué dice Chitana? Mm -hmm. Yes. Please start. Hmm? Okay. Namo Vitragai Namo Harihantanam Namo Sita Namo Ayariyana Namo Atsayana Namo Loye Savasahunam Eso Pancha Namo Karo Sava Pava Panachano Mangala Namcha Savesim Paramam Havai Mangala Om Namo Pagabate Vasu Devai Om Namashivai Jai Satitanam Namo Vitragai, Namo Harihantanam, Namo Sidanam, Namo Ayariyanam, Namo Atsayanam, Namo Loyesavasahunam, Eso pancha namu karo, sabapawapanashano, mangala namcha sawesim, paramam havai mangala, om namu pagavate vasudevai, Om Namah Shivai Jai Satchitanam Namo Vitragai Namo Harihantanam Namo Siddhanam Namo Ayariyanam Namo Atsayanam Namo Loye Savasahunam Eso Pancha Namo Karo Savapawapanashano Mangala Namcha Savesim 
paramam bhavai mangalam om namo bhagavate vasudevai om namah shivai jai satitanam jai satitanam jai satitanam jai satchidanand jai satchidanand beautiful you know <clears throat> as the three mantra is offered with love even the three mantra becomes very very right and perfect as if it's just a medida que se ofrece el trimantra el trimantra se vuelve cada vez más y más um, correcto y perfecto yes it's it, the celestial beings have no choice except to be present there. <laughs> Los seres celestiales no tienen alternativa más que estar presentes ahí. And they can be instantly present. They don't have to buy or get a visa. <laughs> y van a estar instantáneamente presentes, no necesitan visa ni nada. Buy a ticket and hire an Uber driver and somebody else to carry your bags. ¿Sí? No necesitan ni ticket, ni chofer, ni, ni nadie que les lleve las valijas. No immigration and customs. No hmm. migración ni aduanas. Just there. And there is only... There is only the you, the group that is involved in the three mantra and the celestial beings. No, nobody else. Solamente... Hmm. Solamente el grupo y los seres celestiales, nadie más. And Dada Bhagwan within, of course. Dada Bhagwan. Dada Bhagwan, por supuesto. Dada Bhagwan ni Sakshi. Sri Krishna Bhagwan ni Namaskar Karucho. He bowed down to Lord Krishna, you know. Hmm? So in his, in the presence of in the presence of Dada Bhagwan, all of this satsang is happening, all of this offering is happening. In presence of Dada Bhagwan, this satsang is offered, and in presence of Dada Bhagwan, this satsang is done. Mm -hmm. We welcome all of you to this satsang because your presence makes satsang, satsang. Mm -hmm. Vuestra presencia es el satsang, satsang. Yeah. This morning at the lake, um, I was sharing with them the story of, not the story, the real, the real uh, happening all over India. When a, when a human being leaves his body, when a human being leaves his body, the body becomes cold. <clears throat> We say no life now. But esta mañana en el lago estaba explicando lo que pasa en en India eh, cuando el el alma deja el cuerpo eh, yes. el cuerpo se vuelve frío. And that time they keep the body there for a while so people can come and do pay their last darshans, you know. Y en ese momento se deja el cuerpo por un rato ahí para que la gente pueda eh, venir a saludarlo por última vez y hacer su último darshan. They do in the, the darshan in Argentina too. You know, everybody does darshan. También se hace el darshan en Argentina también, me imagino. But you know, so, but they, here in India, they, four people pick up the body on their shoulders, four people, and they start walking briskly. They start walking briskly towards just the outside the village where they have 
they they burn the body, you know, they burn the body. Pero aquí la India, cuatro personas cargan el cuerpo y salen caminando por la calle eh, para quemar el cuerpo en las afueras de la ciudad. Yeah, there is raised platform, uh, solid cement platform on which they they put the body and you know then they cover it, cover it with wood, you know, and all the rituals and then they light a fire, you see. But while they are walking with the with the body now, the cold, lifeless body, they all say one thing which is very beautiful. They, y bueno, y la que queman el cuerpo en estas plataformas de cemento con unas le leñas muy amorosamente. Pero ¿por qué van acarreando el cuerpo a través de las calles en las ciudades indias? They say this. They say what I just wrote. Ram Nam Sat Hai. Ram Nam Sat Hai. Ram Nam Sat Hai. You see? They just walk. Ram Nam Sat Hai. One person will start, another one behind him. Ram Nam Sat Hai. Everybody. People walking in the behind the body. Also, they just all saying, Ram Nam Sat Hai, Ram Nam Sat Hai. Now. Y toda la gente camina con el cuerpo atrás de la procesión cantando Ram Nam Sat Hai. Of Rama. Rama is the Lord, you know. Hmm? It's the other name for the Lord Ram, you know. Very famous in India. Everyone knows that name, Lord Rama. Ram is the Lord. Yeah, you know, he was he has now gone to Moksha. He is he's in Moksha. He was even he was here even before Lord Krishna, you see. And a very beautiful story called Ramayana, you see. It's a story of Lord Ram. Ramayan. No, Ramayana or Ramayan, you see. Lord Ram estuvo aquí con nosotros mucho antes que, que Lord Krishna. Y, y bueno le dicen Ramayam. Ramayana is a is a is a is a is a is a, is a holy epic, you know. It's about it's a very beautiful story around the story of Lord Ram, you know. And uh, but anyway, Ram Nam, the name of Ram. Uh, they say it, they don't know what it, mean, uh, what it means. They just say Ram Nam. They say that at the time of death, if you say the name of Ram, that's the only right thing. Ir, Sat means eternal. So what they're saying is the name of the Lord Ram. Lo que ellos dicen durante la profesión es el nombre del Dios Ram, que ellos creen que es lo único correcto para decir eh, ante una muerte. And they say it's eternal, but they don't, you know, and that name, and that name is Atmaram, Amaram, Atmaram. What they're, what they're saying is that the name given, what they do not know that that name is not the name given to this body. It's the name of the soul. It is the other name of the soul. They say, Atma, Ram, Nam, Sathya. Ram, Ram. They even, in, many oh, in India, they greet each other. They say, Ram, 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 Ram. You know, they're greeting. Y ellos hablan, ellos hablan del Atma, Ram, eh, que es el nombre que se le da al alma más allá del nombre que tenía el cuerpo del que acaba de morir. Entonces, eh, por eso a veces dicen, como saludo, Ram, Ram. Eh, entre los hindúes. They don't know it in the precision that we know it. All they know is they know for generations and generations, centuries and centuries, that's what they've been doing, Hindus. And uh, so they just say, Ram Nam Sat Hai, Ram Nam Sat Hai. They walk like in a soldier, like they, they walk very fast, you know, to the Ellos place. no tienen el conocimiento tan preciso como nosotros del alma, pero eh, es un conocimiento que viene, ellos no saben bien de dónde, de generación en generación, y por eso repiten Ram Nam, eh, Sat Ram Nam, Ram. Sat Hai, Sat Hai. Hai means is. Hai. That is the only eternal thing. And what they are saying is, the Lord Ram, the, the 
Atma Ram, the soul Ram, the name of the, the soul. The soul is the only eternal thing. The soul is the eternal thing. Everything else is gone. It's this man's body has become cold. His world is over. Y lo que dice esta oración es que el alma es lo único eterno, la única cosa eterna. Eso es lo que van repitiendo mediante esta oración que dicen cuando cargan al, al muerto. So it is it's the ama that is eternal, everything else is this is is not eternal, it's not forever, you see. You know? So how interesting they say it, but they don't know. Actually, it's the Atma, the soul is eternal. So what they're saying is the soul is real, the soul is real, the soul is real, the soul is real, you know. But they have not come into the exactness of what they are saying, like you and I have, you see, you know. Yeah. Y, y qué interesante que es que ellos van repitiendo que de, la, la, el alma es eterna, es lo único eterno. Al decir eso dicen que todo lo demás es relativo, sin saber bien por qué. Y es muy interesante esta, este rito que tiene. Es tradicional. Um... Greeting in India, you know, Jai Shri Ram, or, you know, they will meet each other and they'll say, Ram Ram, you know, Ram Ram, <laughs> Ram Ram, you know, that means, when you say Ram Ram, that means they think they're, they're invoking the name, it's just like saying Jesus, Jesus, but really, that name belongs to the eternal, hmm? Bueno, este saludo Ram Ram que hacen es como invocar a lo eterno, es como decir Jesús Jesús, es decir, eh, están invocando lo eterno. It reverse Mara means death. The meaning of Mara in our language is death. So there is, if you, there is death and there is eternity. There is death and there is eternity. Ram, Mara, this one died, and Rama is the eternal. Is it? Si nosotros decimos al revés la palabra Ram, eh, si convierte en Aram, eh, que quiere decir muerte en el lengua de Mara, 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 This that we see in front of each other, it is dying, it's slowly dying, you know. It's leaving, it's, it will go away. All this world as we know it will go away. We will be there forever. We will know. Y cada vez, cada vez que vemos un cuerpo, vemos esta combinación de lo, de lo temporario y lo eterno. El cuerpo que vemos enfrente de nosotros está muriendo y, y lo que está atrás es eterno. When you have time, because I don't have, I'm not going to go too much into the detail uh, uh, story. Uh, but news, you know, you, uh, you just check it out, uh, the story of Babri, B-A-B-R-I, Masjid. Masjid means a house of worship built by the people who with faith in the Islamic God, Allah, Allah, you see. So they will, as a house of faith for the Muslims, masjid, hmm? and a temple is the house of faith, building of faith for the people who believe in Lord Ram, you see. Lord Ram, so you know, so 
This Babri Masjid is very big right now in India. The story, in fact, has been going on since, you know, a long, long time. To make the story very brief, yeah, yeah, they say that this this Babji Masjid in a, in a city called is a place called Ayodhya in northeast India. You know, that's the birthplace of Lord Ram, Ayodhya. Dice que cuando tengan tiempo, googleen esta historia de Babri Masjid, eh, que eh, no tenemos tiempo ahora de profundizar mucho, pero es muy interesante. Eh, que transcurre en Ayodhya, que es eh, donde nació Lorram. That's what the history says, but you see, when the uh, Islamic invaders, the Islamic invaders invaded India, they destroyed the temple that used to exist there. You know, that's, and they built, you know, they destroyed it, but not only that, they removed all traces of it and, and they built a masjid there, you know, right there on that very... Bueno, location. los islámicos invadieron el territorio, destruyeron el templo que había ahí, a los Ram, lo sacaron y pusieron ahí un templo de ellos en su lugar. It, it existed for many centuries. There were fights over it. And, you know, they would, ultimately, in, it was, the destruction began in 1992, and finally, there was court cases, everybody, the Hindus and the Muslims fighting for their rights to have that place as the place of their, you know, y fue objeto de muchas peleas entre hindúes y musulmanes que querían los dos poner un templo exactamente en ese lugar. Now under the very uh, very strong Hindu government of Modi, now they have built the large, one of the largest temples there of Lord Ram and they're celebrating and still parts of it are under construction. You will see all on the news, but you see, Yes, it reminds you of the story that's happening in Palestine, you know. Human beings fight for the space of their Lord. <laughs> this, their, you know, this is, this is my Lord's home. Well, you know, this... Con el gobierno de Modi en India, eh, se, ha, se ha reconstruido ya cada vez más grande y los hindúes van ahí a adorar a los Ram. Pero es un ejemplo de cómo eh, se han sucedido las peleas para construir un templo exactamente en ese mismo lugar. I think the Lord exists. Do you think the Lord exists in a location where, where there is a lot of where a lot of blood has been shed? You know, will the Lord live que, there? Que el Lord puede recibir, residir en un lugar donde tanta sangre se ha derramado. That's for you and me. I will not tell this to people in India, you know, or the Hindus in India. <laughs> But this is for you and me, yeah. Wow. Ram Nam Sat Hai, Ram Nam, when the person, Ram Nam Sat Hai, you know. Why? The Lord is eternal. Well, the Lord is eternal. They don't know where that eternal Lord is. First it begins. With, well, they don't, they're not able to know what happened when the person all of a sudden who is talking, thinking, playing, you know, to, you know, with you, suddenly it's all over. You go near him and there is no life in the body has become cold. You know, you touch his body, it is cold. There is no. Y vuelve la oración Ram Nat Sam Hey, que significa eh, lo único eterno es el alma. Y no saben exactamente qué pasa cuando este cuerpo se vuelve frío y cuando they, morimos. They even take the body to the funeral place. Ram Nam Sat Hey, Ram Nam Sat Hey. But they say it and yet they cannot connect. You see, they say this, and yet they cannot connect. Is who was present and who is absent? <laughs> who was present and who is absent now? He's gone. 
Khan. Y ellos siguen repitiendo esas palabras sin saber exactamente por qué, sin poder conectar quién está presente y quién está ausente, quién se ha ido. This is the greatest human folly. You see, this is called the avaran. This is called the karma of illusion, deluding karma. You see. So, y eso es lo que se llama el avaran, el karma de la ilusión, delusion. So two major karma are broken in the Gnanvidi. The karma over vision Darshan Avarani, Avaran, Avaran, Darshan Avaran, Karma, the vision, the veil over Darshan, over the ability to see it as it is, you see. Y dos velos se han roto durante nuestra ceremonia de Nambidi. Uno es el Darshan Avaran Karma, que es lo, el karma que obstruye nuestra visión. Yeah. That one is broken, completely broken, you know, by the other. Darshanavran, Darshanavarana Niya, Darshanavraniya, Darshanavran, Darshan blocking karma is removed and then illusion. Uh, illusion, the karma, oh, the illusion. Uh, Mohaniya karma, Mohaniya karma, the karma of illusion. The deluding karma is removed, you see. El otro karma es el karma de Mohania o de la ilusión. Mm -hmm. eh, el otro karma que se da. Karma otro. of illusion and delusion. Illusion, delusion. Mm -hmm. These two are yes, re poder, removed. Mm -hmm. And now the, now the human being has entered the self, you see. Now he can see with his own eyes, with his own real eyes, real eyes or real eyes, <laughs> real <laughs> eyes or real eyes, realize the self, you see. Hmm? Ahora podemos ver con nuestros ojos reales o, o darnos cuenta, realize es darse cuenta en inglés, o uso ese juego de palabras, ver con nuestros ojos o darnos cuenta lo usa como un, como un sinónimo eh, a nuestro ser y las cosas como son en realidad. Hmm. So we return to this heading of ours, you know. Uh, you know, like millions and millions and millions. There were 1.2 when I, this, this is, a, you know, a week ago when I, I came to India. <clears throat> They were celebrating the opening. In fact, it's going to get opened. You know, they were, they were, the preparations are going on. There were 1.2 million people holding that thing, you know, like we did in JJ111, you know, a little lamp in the night. There were 1.2 million people sitting out there and they have an aerial photograph of it. Y hubo en la India 1.2 millones de personas eh, en este momento eh, con esta lucecita, esta vela alumbrando. Eh, no sé exactamente en dónde, Fabi, no sé dónde lo dijo. Ahí están haciendo lo mismo que hicimos todos nosotros cuando fue la celebración del JJ111, que todos teníamos una velita en la mano y están tomando una foto aérea, pero hoy son 1.2 millones. 1.2 million sitting in the night, you know, you can, you, there's any photographs, you can see it in the newspapers of India, you know. Mahatmas? Uh, or, no, or no, 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 no. <laughs> these are, these are people. Ah, todos. Ah, and this, okay. this, you cannot have 1.2 million Hindus. Okay. You know, you know, the, you know, the believers of Lord Ram, they're wearing all this, you know, my, my Lord, you know. You y están celebrando estos y son hindúes no son mahatmas y están celebrando a Lord Ram. As long as you keep on putting your god in a statue or in a temple, you 
you're always going to put him there away from you. <laughs> Aunque pongas a tu dios en el templo o en tu casa en una foto, siempre yeah. lo vas a estar poniendo fuera tuyo. Or in a church, or in a no, oh, you know, you can build the church again, you can build, rebuild the Notre Dame, you know. You can, it's always outside, you know, and he has to wake up. He has to awaken within, within you, then it's over, then it's fine. Y siempre ponen, ponen a Dios afuera de uno, ¿no? Podés este, crear y recrear templos, podés reconstruir Notre Dame y volverla a incendiar, eh, pero siempre ellos ven a Dios afuera cuando en realidad está adentro de cada uno. So I have a question regarding that, may I? Mm -hmm. Yes. My dream, my dream is to build millions of three man deers. <laughs> but yeah. it, it doesn't come along with what you are saying. <laughs> no, no, we need them. Le pregunto que mi sueño es construir un millón de trimandires, right. pero que no se condice con esto que, que él está expresando en este momento, si es necesario o no. No, es por... Look, the trimandires are for the world, they're not for the awakened ones. You're already awakened. You are... When you offer the trimandra like our dear Gabi did a while ago, just, to, you know, this evening, She is already building a three mantra, <laughs> oh, three mandir. Yes, yes, a three mandir through intentions. Yes, you see? they are there because there are millions of separate mandirs. <laughs> Which, uh, Krishna mandir. Yeah, uh, you know, you know, different different yeah. mandirs there. Then everybody just goes and says, "My God, my God, your God." Okay, fine. I'm, I don't want to come there. You see. And, uh, you know, it keeps on dividing the place of worship, you're in trouble, you see. You know, you go to Dubai or you go to uh, Turkey, and if you don't go into the mosque there, the famous beautiful mosque. Dice you know? que los trimandirs son para las personas de afuera, no para nosotros los, los con los que tenemos la conciencia despierta. Yeah. Eh, ellos dicen, mi Dios, eh, hay mandis para Lord Krishna, para distintos tipos yeah. de dioses, pero en realidad nosotros que estamos despiertos eh, somos nuestro propio mandir. Por ejemplo, el trimantra que dijo Gaby recién, eh, ahí ella ha este, edificado su propio mandir. Yeah. You, you go there like a tourist, you see, but you don't go in a... You don't feel the presence of the Lord, you see. You're, they, they go high, they go vertical, they go, you know, all, all the way. The Duomo, you know, in Florence or, you know, wherever, it's high, 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 you know. God is up there in here, you know. Mm -hmm. they try to... van alto, 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 como el Domo de Florencia, por ejemplo, dicen Dios está allá arriba. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's, it's so your intention to build a million ones is to just bring the humanity together in terms of uh, realizing that the love of a human being for his Lord is real, regardless of how he worships that Lord. You see, you know. Entonces, to, tu intención en realidad es tu intención de que toda la humanidad se dé cuenta de que el amor eh, por la humanidad es el verdadero Dios y que es eterno. And if that love is real, if that love is true, then there is no fight with the other human being who is worshiping an image or worship. There is one who there is who is worshiping uh, or bending down towards the piece of stone. You see, mm -hmm. it doesn't really matter, does it? You know, that's worshiping. The... Y ese, ese verdadero amor es no, no pelear con otra persona que está adorando otra cosa, este, sí, simplemente tener el amor de la humanidad. Y eso es por eso Dada, uh, Gabi, I mean, uh, Fabi, uh, gave us column number two. You know, 
So he's building the three mandirs inside each one of us. <laughs> it's, you know, and your dream to build a million temples, may there be a million three mandirs? Yes, the three mandirs are relevant for India because people understand these gods inside. But, you know, what about the rest of the world? Who do they now say, who is this? Why is this a monkey is god he... outside here? And why is this, you know, what does this mean in terms of, you know, in other words, the understanding, this is relevant for this land where there has been a lot of fights between, there's a lot of fights, fight, internal fight to the point where they go worship, but they never go into the other person's temple also. They feel if you go there, somehow your worship is, you will never see a Jain enter a Hindu temple and vice versa. It's likely that a Hindu may go into a Jain temple, but a Jain is very, very unlikely to go into a Hindu temple. You see? Y por eso es que Dado nos da el calam número dos, para que no haya estas peleas entre religiones. Es co no es nada común que un hindú vaya a un templo jainista, eh, ni un jainista a un templo hindú. Entonces por eso Dada construye Trimandirs dentro de cada uno de nosotros con este calam número dos. Yeah, I think I, uh, and the worship kind of goes out this split. This divisiveness then also goes into your relative interactions. You know, the joints only help the joints, you see, like that, you see, you know. The same thing we see all over the world. The division continues to happen. Human beings have walked away from the very meaning of religion, in, in relative religion, goodness, you know. Mm -hmm. La división que hay entre las religiones se traduce a toda la interacción de la vida mundana en donde se ayuda entre la misma religión y no otras religiones y bueno y todo tipo de peleas ahí. To the, you know, to the extent, Fabi, that human beings say they just don't even talk, want to talk about religion. Don't tell me about religion. You know, I, uh, you know, they have become houses of commerce. You know houses of commercial industry, you know, and with the fear of God, you know. And political influence. Yes, also. political influences. <laughs> big political influences. Y estas religiones se han, este, se han convertido en, en casas de comercio y, y lugares de influencia política. Yeah. And, and people get very confused about why, what's going on, you know, what's going on. Election time, there are like a lot of activity in churches, this, that. Words just remain words, you know, nobody really, and we, when we say, let no one be hurt through these words, through this mind and through this body, we, every word has lot of power. We do not want to hurt anyone, you know, in this life. As it unfolds every morning, we do, do not want to hurt anyone. Y así la gente se confunde, no entiende bien qué, qué está pasando, y por eso es que nosotros rezamos que no queremos herir a nadie con nuestra palabra. Eh, esa es la intención. Can you imagine? Can you even imagine? the amount of kashais that are generated when you bomb a mosque or when you destroy a temple, you see? Pueden imaginarse la cantidad de kashais que se generan cuando uno bombardea una mezquita o cualquier tipo de templo. Yeah. You think it's over? No, it's not over. ¿Piensas que eso terminó? No, no ha terminado. It it carries on. You, the bodies are killed. The bodies are destroyed. That souls that live, they live with very intense kashais. You see? So it just keeps on happening life after life again. Bomb. 
terrorize, bomb, terrorize, bomb, terrorize. Y ahí cuando se produce un bombardeo, lo, los cuerpos se mueren y las armas dejan esos cuerpos con una enorme intensidad de callais. Y eso pasa una y otra vez de bombardeos y muertes. We see this happening in front of us nowadays. It is happening, you see. Hmm? Y hoy en día está pasando también. It's not something new. It has been it has been going on for centuries. <laughs> you know. No es algo nuevo. Ha estado pasado pasando por siglos. Oh, we we need to get away from that topic. I just now want to more more importantly. I just wanted to. I was struck by this phrase: Ram Nam Sat Hai, Ram Nam Sat Hai. They carry the body covered in white towards the funeral place, you know, to the place where they burn the body. And there is one time when the words are the same all over India. They, they remember the name of the Lord then, you know, and they say that is the only thing that is true or what they really don't. They say Sat, Sat means also right or True, but more than that, they as that is called satya. Satya is right, and asatya is wrong. But below, beyond satya and asatya is sat, eternal, eternal. And they are saying Ram Nam Sat Hai, Ram Nam Sat Hai. Yes. Y vuelve la imagen donde están acarreando el muerto de los indios diciendo esas palabras Ram Nam Sat Hai que significa lo, lo único cierto es el alma, lo único eterno. Eh, contradicción. But, you know, in the, in the story of Ramayana, Rama represents the perfection, the perfect human being in human form, you see. He was a perfect son, a perfect king, a perfect husband, you know. Everything perfect, perfect. En la historia perfect. de Ram se lo representa como el ser humano perfecto, el rey perfecto, el hombre perfecto, el, el niño perfecto. He had a anyway, he became enlightened after we meeting a a gnani, a gnani uh, in his later life, you see. Uh, Él obtuvo la iluminación cuando encontró un nani en su en una vida más tarde. And that nani purush is also very famous. That nani purush was the name uh, Vashishtha, Muni Vashishtha, Muni Vashishtha. Ese, ese nani purush se llamaba Muni Vashishtha. That that gnani enlightened guru of Ram told him, you believe you are King Ram? You are not King Ram. This kingdom of yours that you have lost, you are not the owner of that kingdom. You were married, your wife's name was Sita, you are not Sita's husband, you see. Yeah. Y ese Nani le dijo, vos crees que eres el rey, eh, el rey Ram? Y este es tu reino, pero tú no eres Ram y ese no es tu reino. He had, uh, he had two boys as sons. He says, they, you are not the father of those two boys, you see. Hmm? You know? Y bueno, sos el, el marido de Sita y sos el padre de estos dos niños. Yeah, very, yeah you know, this... Uh, The knowledge is the same, whether Lord Ram received it or whether you and I received it in the Gnan Vidi. The knowledge is the same, you know. <laughs> el conocimiento que recibió Lord Ram es el mismo que hemos recibido nosotros en el Gnan Vidi, el mismo conocimiento. Yeah, you know, it's breaking all those wrong beliefs. They don't Romper break. Romper todas estas creencias incorrectas. However, in the Gnanvidi, we don't say, I'm not this body, this, I'm not this body, I'm not this mind. We don't say that in the Gnanvidi, do we? Yeah. We don't say that, yeah. I'm not this. There is nothing of not, not. 
there is everything of who I am. So I am a pura. Is every focus on who we are and so the what we are not. In in Indian Vidhi, nosotros no decimos lo que no somos, sino que nos focalizamos en decir lo que somos. Somos alma pura. Yeah, everything. Just focus one hundred percent on all the qualities of the alma pura. And so that which we are not is now seen because we see who we are and so the other thing falls away. Y nos focalizamos 100% en el alma pura porque nosotros vemos lo que somos y todo lo demás cae por su propio peso. We don't say what falls under the, the, the major heading of my, my body, my blue shirt. You see? Oh, Gabriel, no decimos todas nuestras Gabriel. faltas. My ah, name called cuadrame. Gabriel, you know, my name called Gabriel. All of that, we don't say that. We just surrender all of that. And then we enter into the beautiful space of the self. Beautiful. Nosotros space. rendimos todo esto nuestro mío y entramos en nuestra, eh, en la, en la esfera de nuestro hermoso ser. So Dada says... <clears throat> When you are used, and we covered this first Q and A in the last session, that is said, you know, that is says when your awareness is absolutely unflinching, it is absolutely solid, Chagruti, then moksha is right there for you, right? You are in moksha, Jagruti, Your awareness is moksha. It's not something that's going to come. Your awareness of who I am is moksha. Hmm? Y ahí Dada dice, volviendo a, a nuestro libro y a las preguntas y respuestas que habíamos visto la vez pasada, Dada dice que cuando nuestra conciencia es sólida, nuestro Yagruti es permanente y eso mismo es Moksh. Dada himself said, when you, if you're too, if you're, if you're in the habit of doing Dako Dakal, Dako Dakal interfere and <laughs> throw a stone in the pond and then see all those ripples, all that, you know, all the circles happening around you know if you're used to that habit <laughs> then you will miss upayog then upayog will be missed we covered that last time see hmm? y cuando vos tenés el hábito del daco dakal que es cuando tiras una piedra y, y ves todas las, las olas que se van generando es cuando vos perdés el eh, el upayog and Shuddha Upa Yoga. Yeah, Shuddha is missed. Or, you know, huh? so the questioner says, so, yeah, that, so the questioner says, yeah, the Dako hap happens again, Dada, and, but at the same time, then there is this feeling and awareness that I want to move, I want to be free, you see? And I do not want this file again. Uh, or is that opioid? You see, is that also opioid? And the other three. Cuando, then... cuando este, cuando este dado, daco, eh, daco, daco pasa, eh, el que pregunta dice: Yo quiero liberarme, dada, no quiero más este archivo. ¿Es eso opioid, dada? Yeah. Uh, so the other replies: I want to be free. I want to be absolutely free, you know. I don't want this file again. I want to be absolutely free, okay? That that falls under Jagruti. In, uh, that falls under the chapter of Jagruti. Hmm? That, you know. Y Dada le responde que ese deseo de que no quiero liberarme de este archivo, no quiero estar más eh, acá, eso cae dentro del Jagruti. But Dada says, but that Jagruti has to come, has, has to become visible. Y Dada dice, pero este Jagruti tiene que ser visible. Uh, it should be visible. In other words, if it remains inside, what's the use? I mean, you know, we, uh, but now when somebody in horribly mistreats Damien, you know, abuses Damien, and Damian is not affected at all. <clears throat> there is no change in the expression. Damian is not affected. Then. 
y Dada dice que este Yagruti tiene que ser visible, porque si no, ¿de qué serviría? Por ejemplo, cuando si Damian es maltratado o abusado, eh, no debemos ver ni un solo cambio en la expresión, na, ninguna alteración eh, deberíamos ver en Damian. Entonces, sí. And at that time, they should become visible. Visible means Damian's opiog and awareness is such that I, I want to be free. I want to be free from this means I don't want to get in there again and say, oh, me, you, you know, oh, there's no attack. There is really no counter attack. There is no negative reaction. You see, that means uh, the, you know, the, that is why there is no reaction in Damian, you know. You know. Y ahí, ahí lo vemos a Damian con la, con la idea, con la actitud de que quiero liberarme, no quiero meterme adentro de, de esa escena, ni reaccionar. So now is the critical question, the critical example that is a very beautiful example that comes and I had saved it for today, you know, because we ran out of time last time. Mm -hmm. Y viene la pregunta crítica que he reservado para esta sesión porque no teníamos tiempo la sesión pasada. So the other she says, imagine that there is, just visualize a, a road that is only two feet, one feet, two feet, two feet wide road. You see? Y Dada dice, imagínense una ruta que tenga dos pies de ancho. And it is one mile long. Y una milla de largo. And on both sides, there is the ocean. On both sides of this road is the deep ocean. Y a ambos lados de esta ruta hay océano profundo. And on both sides, Now, on the right side or the left side, there are there is no no rails, nothing to hold on to. Y no grabs. One mile, two feet wide road. And no nothing to hold on to, no guard rails. Hmm? Una milla, dos pies y sin baranda. Esa es la imagen. And you have to walk on that road, go to the other side, okay, the one mile. Y tú tienes que caminar por esa ruta, por una misa. So while you are walking, what kind of Jagruti awareness would you have? <laughs> <laughs> y cuando caminas por esa ruta, ¿qué clase de Jagruti o conciencia tendrías? Uh, That kind of Jagruti should remain, that says, in this ocean of our life. Esa clase de Jagruti debe permanecer en nuestro océano de la vida. Fantastic example, Damian, Marcela, Gabi. This example is so beautiful. It's exactly how this world is for us, you know. You... The other says, you never know, it's, you know, you never know where you might slip, you know, as you begin your day in Argentina or in Chile or wherever you are, you don't know where you will slip, you see. Y este ejemplo es tan hermoso, nunca, nunca vas a saber cuándo te vas a caer eh, en ese camino. You, the other says, See how how strong the mind has to be. See how strong the mind has to be when you have to walk that one mile, you know. Vean qué fuerte puede ser la mente que cuando caminas una milla. Even the mind becomes unsteady. Oh my God, you know. 
ocean on this side, ocean on this side. Oh my God, what will happen to me? Will I be able to, I can't walk, walk 10 feet, you know. I've got to walk a mile, you know. Hmm. Fíjense que fuerte puede ser la mente que cuando ve ese camino tan finito rodeado de, de océano, dice, oh mi Dios, ¿qué voy a hacer? ¿Cómo voy a cruzar? ¿Cómo nos va traicionando? Now the Shri says, if the mind becomes unsteady, then also you do not look at the mind. At that time when the mind y, becomes y... unsteady, do not pay attention to the mind. Your attention should be on one step after the other step after the other step. Y, y, el, y en ese momento Dada dice, no importa que tan inestable se vuelva la mente, tú no tienes que darle importancia a la mente, sino concentrarte en tus pasos, un paso sobre otro paso. Yeah. And Dada Shri says, if it is like this, then you will be able to become free fast, you know. In relative si depends. puedes hacer esto, te liberarás muy rápido, dice Dada. Uh, and if that, in, if it is dakalyu, dakalyu means, if it is, if it is where, you know, you, can you, you listen to the mind, and, you know, and then you have just interfered, you see. The mind can show whatever it wants to show, but if you say, oh my, you know, I don't think I can do it. I don't think I can do it. <laughs> I can't y, cuando, do it. y cuando le das bolilla a la mente, esa, esa es la gran interferencia, ¿no? Es de, este, la mente te dice, no lo puedo hacer, no lo puedes hacer. Yeah, so if you, if you have a habit of interfering, it'll be tough. You know, mind will say this, oh, I, I get seasickness, I'm going to faint. <laughs> you know, and if the road is strong, two feet, very strong, enough space, you know, <risa> y, y dos pies eh, de ancho de la ruta es suficientemente espacio, digamos, como para caminarlo sin problemas. Pero cuando le das bolilla a la mente, todo cambia. So the, the Shri says, then it will take a long time. It will take a lot of trials and errors. Okay, I went back and then he said, no, I can't. And then again you try because you have to, you can't stay on this side. You have to go, you have to go, if, you know. Y Dada dice, si vos le das, escuchas a la mente, va a tomar un largo tiempo cruzar el camino porque van a hacer un montón de ensayos y errores, ensayos, prueba y error, prueba y error. Y va a tomar mucho tiempo. Uh, so that's, that's the example of Dada. Now Dada has said this much. If, if Dada says if it is of the... If you if you have been listening to the mind too much, if you kind of empathize, if you enter the mind, then yeah, you have missed your awareness. You are supposed to see whatever the mind tells you. You are not supposed to kind of get this. Oh my God! You know, oh, what's this? You know, I can't do it. Y ahí dice que cuando vos entras en la mente. La, vos ves lo que la mente te dice, ver y ahí perdés, perdés tu conciencia. So then the question says, that, does that mean that the mind has to become very strong? Entonces, ¿qué pregunta dice? Entonces, ¿la mente tiene que volverse muy fuerte? The mind has to be made that strong, hmm? Is the question, you know, and let's see what the other answers. See, so the other says, <sighs> the other she says, but how can you make the mind strong in this current life? You know? dice, pero cómo, cómo puedes hacer la mente fuerte en esta vida? You see. It's those people who have a very strong mind, they have already made it strong in a previous life, you see. And so then in a, they come in this life and their mind is very, 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 very strong, you see. Aquellos que han hecho fuerte la mente es porque la han hecho fuerte en la previa, en la vida previa, entonces esta vida viene muy, muy fuerte. Now that says, those who have made their minds very strong, they have made it in a previous life, And they are special. They, you know, they don't, 
They they stay focused. They stay remain. They stay. They they stay hundred percent attentive to that one mile road. You see, that is the only their attention. Their attention doesn't go here on this side or this side. You know. Y esas personas con la mente fuerte son muy especiales. Se mantienen bien enfocadas. Y no están mirando a los costados. So the other street says, you know, but now what your mind is, what is, is, what is, you know, if you got, if you got a mind that is, you know, see my hands, you know, <laughs> it is not like this, it's like this, it's an unsteady mind, then that's what you have, and so then you have to make the mind strong. You have to make the mind strong. Entonces tu mente es como es, digamos generalmente es relativamente inestable, entonces eh, es ahí donde tú tienes Sorry, que ser una mente back, fuerte. I take back the last sentence. That, that doesn't say you have to make the mind, mind strong. If the mind is weak, then you require even more jagruti. So, you know, no, don't make the mind dice strong. Que, que si tu mente es débil, vos requerís aún más jagruti. If your mind is weak, then you need to more, pay more attention to this two feet stuff. <risa> que si, si tu mente es débil tenés que pre prestar aún más atención a estos dos pies de ancho que tenés para caminar excuse me uh -huh. oh boy uh, we... hello Hello? Who is Lalo? Lalo? No, you have a wrong number, huh? Okay, okay. Mm-hmm. All right, so... Uh, if the mind is weak, these are very important uh, instructions of the other now. You see, if you have come in this world with having, with a very strong mind, then you don't need to worry. The way strong mind will take care of your path. But if your mind is weak, then what you need is even more jagruti, even more jagruti, and even more acute awareness. You see, you need to be more aware. You have to make yourself more aware. You see? Y Dada dice que si tu mente es fuerte no tienes problema, pero si tu mente es débil, necesitas más y más yagruti. Tiene que ser un yagruti más agudo y tienes que estar más en conciencia. Uh, so, you know, I have not been typing this thing. I'm sorry, Marcelo, but essentially I will repeat it. Dada Shri says, the mind cannot be made strong in, in this life. No. You see, it, how can you make the mind strong? So Dada is now actually looking at this whole situation. How can you make this mind strong? That is how it is for you or me or all of us. Whatever our mind is, that's, that's how it is. Right? Entonces so now, vuelve a la pregunta de cómo puedes hacer la mente más fuerte y Dada dice, la mente es como es. You see? Now, that I also says those who have made a, created a strong mind in the past life, they come with the strong mind in this life. You see? Mm -hmm. And so their mind is strong. But the other Sri says, but you cannot make the mind any more stronger, you know. Uh, so. Pero no podemos modificar la hora. And so, maybe Dada Shri says, at that time, whatever, you know, Dada Shri gave the example. At that time, no matter what the mind says, you do not pay attention to the mind, because it's the weak mind which will say, oh, what will happen? Oh, what will happen? Oh, what will happen? You see? Whereas the strong mind doesn't, you know, it, it lets you walk. Go walk, walk, you know. Go walk, walk. Y tú no le prestarás atención a lo que te dice una mente débil. Oh, ¿qué va a pasar? ¿O qué va a pasar? ¿O qué va a pasar? Eh, vos sigues caminando para adelante. 
Yeah, the strong mind. Uh, so now that the Sri says, because your mind is what you've got. If you know, you and I know what kind of mind we have. If the mind is, you know, weak, you should be very much more attentive. There should be tremendous jagruti, you see. Entonces, ante una mente débil, tú tienes que tener mucha más atención, mucho más agruti. Because, you know, in the, in the mind will say, oh, what will happen? Mind will show you fear. The mind will say, what if I go halfway and then I can't even reverse? You know, the mind will say all kinds of stuff, right? <laughs> Don't sí, listen porque to la mente the mind. Dice, pregunta, Cualquier tipo de cosa y eso refleja miedo. And uh, that, that, that the Sri says, if you keep that kind of awareness, not listening to the mind, then you can become free. You see, then you can become free. Si tú tienes ese tipo de conciencia de que no escucha la mente, tú te liberarás. The other she says, the other she says, I myself have seen, I have seen that even if there is only a two feet wide path on the ocean, you see, on the water, on both sides, a human being is very much aware when he has to walk there, you know. Y nada, uh, dice, yo he visto que cuando hay un camino de dos pies de ancho y el océano abajo, el ser humano eh, se vuelve muy consciente de eso. Now the Sri says, I have seen that because Dada was constructing these jetties in the ocean, you know, like, you know, he was, so he says, I've seen it. There, that person is very, very Dada, Dada lo había visto aware. porque construyó muchos puentes en el océano. Entonces había visto la clase de atención que la gente pone cuando tiene un estrecho margen para caminar. He says, that is for sure. There, automatically, the awareness comes. <laughs> No look this way, don't look this way, just go. <laughs> y vio como automáticamente la conciencia viene, bueno, cuando no podés caminar ni para allá ni para allá, automáticamente el ser humano se concentra. Yeah. So the questioner now says, yeah, there, there is a lot of, you know, self-preserving awareness, you know, you just, you, you, yeah. you, you know. Sí, dice que el, la persona dice, sí, ahí hay mucho instinto de conservación. So then Dada Shri is finally answered. He says, this is because there is this, you know, there is, you know, you will end up dying if you do not use that awareness. In other words, there you know, you're going to, fall into the ocean and, you know, you'll die. So he says, so there, you know, you get the direct result. If you do not keep this chagruti, you will die. <laughs> y ahí tenés ese instinto de conservación porque sabes que tenés la muerte y que si te sale mal, te morís. Entonces deberías saber que si vos no mantenés ese chagruti, morirás. He says, now in this life, the false, the other she says, you the result that you get. This one, or, you know, you fall, you're dead, you know, so you get the result right in front of you, you know, you get, you fall, you drown, whatever. Te tenés el resultado directamente a, a la vista. Si te caes, te morís. Whereas, in this, life matters, like, you know, we miss the awareness. You know, that result is hidden, you see. We don't know what will be the result, but Dada says this result also will come, you see. The result of loss of Jagruti in human interaction will come. Right now we don't know it, but it will come. Its result will come, you see. This result of interference, the Kodakal, will come. If you don't see the result right now, it will come later, you see. Y en el experimento del puente, vos ves el resultado de la muerte si te, si te salís. En este otro, en el, en el camino del Yagruti, vos no ves el resultado. El resultado está escondido. Entonces, And, dice que el resultado se manifiesta cuando en, en el efecto de la interferencia, en este Dakal. Yeah, well, el efecto de la interferencia. 
Uh, but I have misread this for you. Let me just read the Dada's answer exactly. Dada, she says, Karan Kema Mari Javanu Pratyaksh Parchan. In other words, you know, you, the question is, I, one is very much aware at that time. One is very, very aware when he's walking, you know. One is uh, very aware of the safe walking. Now, Dada Shri says, because there he is going to get the direct result of not losing that awareness while walking on the two-foot path, is that he will die, right? He will fall and die. Whereas Dada Shri says, this, whereas this result of staying on that two feet, two feet path of awareness, you know, its result is also present. And, you know, its result is, its result is moksha. In other words, you will, by what, what is the other saying? The other saying is falling on this side or this side is interference. <laughs> it's deco decal. So when you do not interfere, there is it's moksha. <laughs> You have just Dada stayed. dice que cuando vos te caes para uno o para otro lado es, es esa interferencia de Akotakal, pero si vos podés seguir en el camino, el resultado es directamente Moksha. You see, you, you have not deviated. You have not deviated out of any of these agnas, you know. You have you have there has been no interference in your vision, you see. You have proceeded on that path of moksha, you see. You have... Y, y, y no salirse es acá, estar dentro de los cinco arnas, esa no tener interferencia en tu propia visión, en tu visión. You, you understand, Gabi? You know, in other words, interference means... Interference means... You entered into territory that was not yours. <laughs> you entered into that which is not yours. You see, it is the territory cuando, of Kashais. Cuando, cuando nosotros interferimos, entramos en un territorio que no es nuestro. Entramos en el territorio de los Kashais. Yeah. The other person is really not doing anything, and yet he says, You did it. You're no good. <laughs> La otra persona en realidad no hizo nada y nosotros estamos diciendo, tú lo hiciste, vos no eres bueno para nada. So this is the kind of Jagruti that we needed. Fantastic example Dada has given, you know. Absolutely. Y este es el Jagruti de que hablamos, en este fantástico ejemplo que nos da Dada. You know. It... You can call it a virtual bridge. You know. Podría llamarlo puente virtual. Neither rag. This side is the ocean of rag. This side is the ocean of dvesh. <laughs> rag y dvesh. Y no hay otro, y otro lado del océano. Yeah. You fall into it, you know, you get swallowed in. Swallowed by it, of course. You have those little lifeboats of Pratikraman so that that will bring you to the shore and then you have to climb up. <laughs> then you have to Por climb up. Por supuesto que tienes el, el arma del Pratikraman para volver a la costa eh, y seguir caminando. You fall in there, you get wet, you know, oh, you tumble into it, you know, the lifeboats of Pratikraman are down below. Vos te caes y te mojas, pero tenés el Pratikraman que te hace volver. Yeah. Oh, there is, there is a tiny little boat that I'll catch. Hay un pequeño bote que agarro que es el Pratikraman. Sí, Dios mío. Totalmente. ¿Tenías una pregunta, Gaby? Um... Gaby has a question. Mm -hmm. eh, no, era eso que, eh, que siento que, que navego, eh, que voy en, es, en ese bote mucha, mucho rato durante el día 
¿ya? Y, y me subo a, la, a, la, a esta ruta, pero es como una desesperación que me da, porque siento que de pronto voy como rodeada de este océano y, y, que, y que me pierdo en este océano y que cuando ya me vuelvo a instalar es la mente, en, es la mente. en la ruta, claro, en el océano de la mente, claro, en el océano de la mente, y, y cuando me... Mm -hmm. If it's that he spends a lot of time in that boat in the ocean. Um... <laughs> Because you like to take the, oh, you, yeah, you just like to float. But you know, <laughs> but the point is that the edge of that ocean, you know, you, even if you reach the edge of that ocean, you still have to climb up to the self again. Still, Swamapura. You know, come, come back to the, Yeah. Es que cuando estás en la, en la frontera del océano tenés que subir de vuelta hasta el camino diciendo soy alma pura. Uh, 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 you see, so that is, uh, the Jagruti remains. I'm just giving the last sentence, you know. Okay. You know, uh, so uh, there. There he does not fall. And that is for sure, you see. The other says, when it's only a two-feet path, there is to walk. There, automatically, he remains aware and awake, and he does not fall. Tada dice que cuando, que cuando te das cuenta que es un camino de dos pies, automáticamente te vuelves consciente y no te caes. You know, in other words, in that last answer of Dada, Dada, she says, if you fall, you slip, you're going to fall and you die. Whereas if you stay on the path, then... You experience moksha. You experience moksha in every step that you walk on that path of non-interference, you see. Sí, sí. Dice que cuando vos te mantenés en este camino de no interferencia, vas experimentando mox en cada paso que vas dando. Tengo muchas verdades profundas que Dada nos ha dado hoy en esta analogía. No lo sabemos. Estamos entendiendo la naturaleza de Jagruti día a día. You know, in other words, the more time we spend with Dada here, uh, the more we understand. Hmm? Y, y acá Dada nos ha dado muchas verdades muy profundas um, sobre lo que es el Chakruti, y cada vez vamos a ir entendiendo más y más. Y lo importante es pasar el mayor tiempo posible en Satsang con Dada. Hmm. Let's take a break. And then we return. Vamos un break. You want to return in okay. five minutes or ten minutes? You let me know. ¿Cuántos días? ¿Cinco minutos o diez minutos? ¿Qué quieren? You want mate time, Luz? You want to have breakfast? You ten, know? Ten, let's ten do minutes. ten minutes. Ten minutes. Okay. Ten minutes. Ten, diez minutos. Ten. All right. Ten minutes. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
Okay. <clears throat> Shula, uh -huh. una, una cuestión. Uh -huh. eh, a propósito de, de que dijiste que había que teníamos que estar en satsang, ¿sirve eh, escuchar los satsang en Gujarati? De repente me pasa que, que, que como que necesito ver al, al nani y... y se me pone o pongo un, un satsang que está en Gujarati, ¿tiene algún efecto? No, ent no entiendo uh, nada. Gaby is asking, sometimes she feels that she needs to hear the, the Gnani and, and the satsang that she puts on is in Gujarati. Her question is, uh, is it okay to listen to satsang in Gujarati even though you don't understand anything? <laughs> Porque... Es que a veces tengo todos los españoles escuchados, entonces de repente es como la necesidad de verlo a él. De, He has de, de all the Spanish satsangs already listened. I see. So, yeah, yeah, sure. You know, there is something. Y, y neces necesito verlo a él, como estar yeah. en, en presencia. You already entonces, have, me... yeah, right. You have already received the essence of the satsang in the Spanish translation. You know, so now you listen to the Gnani without just directly, you know, and things will happen. You understand, you, was, you know, you already understand the substance of the satsang, what, what is being spoken, you see. And now you focus on, you know, the darshan of the Gnani. You're doing darshan. Uh, through his words, you are doing darshan through his movements, you see, maybe his eyes, huh? Yeah, sure. <laughs> It, yeah. Y, si sirve, eh, si vos te focalizas en el darshan del nani, vos más o menos sabés el tema de que está hablando okay. y te focalizas en mirarlo. Yeah, it will, it will bring you closer to the nani, which is uh, the most important, uh, most important happening in the life of a Mahatma. The closer you come to the Gnani, the closer you are coming to your own Amapura, you know. Cuanto más cerca de Gnani, estás más cerca de tu alma pura. Yeah, all the Gnani is every, every word of his, every sentence of his, is, is to really make you come home, you know, and to get liberated, you see. <coughs> Like this, a tu, a tu hogar y, y ser liberada. Dada, Dada Shri says, otherwise this too is a pratyaksh fruit. Uh, otherwise, like uh, that's what, you know, the last sentence of the previous paragraph was, otherwise this too is a pratyaksh. Otherwise this too is a pratyaksh. Pratyaksha, visible, Pratyaksha means visible, palpable root. In other words, you know, the fact that you didn't slip, the fact that you didn't slide into the ocean, the result is there for you, you know. The result is moksha, you know. You remain here. You pass, move about unaffected in this world that is constantly and continuously pulling you this way. You know, for, for continuously wanting you to get involved. Hmm? El, ah. la, la cosa es mantenerse en el camino y cada paso que das es mox. Y dejas que todas las cosas mundanas vayan, vayan pasando sin interferencia. Y esta es una de las formas de, de estar en el Pratyax, eh, estar en contacto con, con el Nani. 
Yeah. Yo, uh, otra, otra pregunta. ¿Es posible que nosotros hayamos... Uh, uh, ¿Es posible que hayamos sido Mahatmas antes? ¿Es posible que hayamos sido Mahatmas en el pasado? No Mahatmas, pero muy cerca. No Mahatmas, pero muy cerca. Muy, muy cerca. Muy, muy cerca. We have... We have received all the theory. The only thing that was remaining was the practical experience. Uh, just excuse me. Just I'm just my iPad is going to die on me, so I need to get the charger. Huh? Hold on. Okay. You carry on. Mm -hmm. Dice que que no Mahatmas, pero es posible que muy cerca que hemos recibido la teoría, pero no la habíamos puesto en práctica todavía. ¿Seguís vos, Fabi? Fabiana. Te acabo de contestar que en 10 minutos me tengo que ir a una reunión de laburo Buah. que era medio inútil y de volver. Buah. Pero si querés, sigo los 10 minutos. No, para nada. Deja, faltaba más. <risa> Yo tipeo y cuando desaparezco termina de tipear martes si tiene ganas. Y si no, no pasa nada. Okay. Yeah. All right. It's charging. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Um, yes, Gabi, what were you saying? Yeah, you said something. Sí, sí, Gabi. Eh, no, eso que si podíamos ser, haber sido Mahatmas, eh, a veces, a veces, Mahatmas, a veces, sometimes. Sí, porque es, eh, no sé, me, me pasa que siempre me ha parecido extraño que, que que yo no, no, como que no, 
a pesar de todos los eh, como infiernos que podría haber vivido a lo largo de la, de la vida, como que siento que nunca he experimentado el sufrimiento, eh, como que no he sufrido como sufre la gente. Eh, she says que... that sometimes she feels that even though she passes all the hells that that uh, she passes during her life, she feels that she never suffered no. enough. She never never really suffered, and entonces. Y, y como que siempre he tenido como esa conciencia de que de que lo que os sucede es correcto, como de que no no eh, como que como que sé, sé que me lo merezco. And she always had this uh, awareness that what happened is correct, that I deserve. Um, I don't know. That that's her feeling. Yeah, uh, what it signifies, you know, what you mentioned is there is a reason by it. You have. You have been through a lot of that similar experiences before where you you have been you have risen a lot. The only thing that was remaining in in your spiritual life was this exactness of the experience of Soyamapura, you see. Mm -hmm. So this journey came to a full stop in this life see, previous life journeys, you were covering a lot of the territory with reference to a change in the view of suffering. Even though there is suffering, there is no, not that much suffering, you see. You see? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it happens to, in the development, in the spiritual development of a human being, in life after life, you see. Of Krum is the special thing that happened in this life, you see. Hmm? You were you were progressing, you see. So that is why you feel like you know, you never suffered too much, you know, you never suffered like people do, you know. Uh you somehow were able to see it in a different way. Yeah, the unique part of Akram <clears throat> is the exactness of the experience of the self. You know, you you became established. You know, mm, yeah. Chuda dice que en tu desarrollo espiritual seguramente has tenido muchos dolores y que a medida que te has venido desarrollando has cubierto esa parte de Soy Alma Pura y que la has conocido en exactitud en esta vida con el Akram Vinyan. Entonces, en esta vida lo que has tenido es un cambio de visión sobre lo que has experimentado, que como ha sido muy transitado, eh, es casi familiar. Y con este cambio de visión se te completa eso que estás sintiendo ahora eh, de que realmente no has tenido tanto sufrimiento. Yeah, you know, all the progress you know, for different levels and different intensity of a human being uh, has been going on step by step, you know, that karmic path. And, uh, you know, in your spiritual progress of a previous life uh, was significant and now it's just you understand it you know now he's called sakshatkar boom you know now <laughs> it's over now it's over you see you cannot be con tu desarrollo espiritual paso a paso ha sido entendiendo paso a paso todo esto que te va pasando y que en esta vida lo ves con exactitud yeah you know yes Yes, you. and you know we are yeah, right, and we along those lines, many of us in the who are now gathering under in this tent, this huge big tent of the Gnani, you know, in this huge shelter of Dada in this life, we all have 
been together in spiritual circles in previous lives you know you know we have been there we have we the, these bodies were different but our goal was uh, you know the same you know we were all wanting to que antes de tener esta enorme protección de dada en esta vida hemos estado desarrollándonos en círculos espirituales nosotros todos en vidas anteriores, tal vez con distintos cuerpos, pero en los mismos círculos espirituales. So, in this new heading, Dada says, and that he says, you know, the heading is, this is what is called Upyoga, okay? And so now let's see el what... Titulo, el próximo título es, esto es lo que se llama Upyoga. You see? Nada, she says, you just need to sit and understand. Just sit here and understand. You know. Dada dice, tú solo te tienes que sentar acá y entender. You don't need to do anything. Next sentence, just sit here, first sentence, just sit here and understand. Hmm? La, la, la oración es, solamente siéntate acá y entiende. And uh, that's the first sentence. Then, There is no need to do anything. No hay necesidad de hacer nada. And, you know, very powerful sentences of Dada. You know, he has brought us all the way to this Shuddhupyog and the exact Shuddhupyog of not losing your focused awareness you know, not listening to the weak mind. Hmm? He has brought us to this level. Simplemente estar en Shudu Pyog y focalizarse en este nivel, no escuchar a nuestra mente débil. You know, the third sentence is, your vision has turned. Before you were looking thinking that what is in front of me is real and now you turned it is turned the camera has turned completely and now you're seeing everything as the pure soul as the amapura your yeah see nosotros vivíamos pensando que todo lo que veíamos era real y de repente Hicimos un cambio de 180 grados y ahora lo que vemos es el alma pura y, y, y vemos que todo es relativo. Another Shri's next sentence is after the change in the direction of the vision, what do you have to do? Hmm? Y luego de este cambio de la visión, ¿qué tenemos que hacer? That's the fourth sentence. Keep, the answer is keep Shuddha Mopiyoga. Keep should do Mantén el should upiog. Yeah, that's all. That's all. Eso es yeah. todo. And the other Shri say, and you know, keep should do And now the other Shri says, if should do piyog, if should upiog does not remain, okay. Dada agrees the Shuddha Upyog may not remain. So if Shuddha Upyog doesn't remain, then remain in the Upyog where there is no Vishay or Kashay, where there is no... Dada dice, y si no podés estar en... Lo principal que tenés que hacer es estar en Shuddha Upyog. Y si no podés estar en Shuddha Upyog, eh, eh, reman, eh, permanecer afuera del Vishay y del Kashay. And then remain in that where Vishay, sexuality, sexuality, hmm? and Kashay do not enter. That, you see, so, you see, Shuddha Yoga is even higher. Here, that is, should the upyog is even higher, oh, is the upyog of the Lord. 
Es lo último. peor es lo más alto, es la conciencia del Lord. Yeah. And a little lower, Upyog is where Vishay doesn't come in, sexuality does not enter, or anger, pride, deceit, greed do not come in. You see, that is. Eh, y un poco más abajo el Uyog está donde el Vijay no entra, es decir, la sexualidad y el Kajay, eh, ira, orgullo, daño y codicia tampoco están. So, the next sentence, you see, is Vishay ni Vrutiyothi ane Vishay Kajay Rahit Vishay ni Vrutiyothi So, okay, so now the third, you see, uh, very subtle layers here, the third, you know, first one is no, no mention of Vishay Kashai, just pure, 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 pura, pura, pura. Hmm? That is the highest of yoga. Then just a little less lower than that is no kashais are entering there, no kashais, and no vishai, no sexuality, no sexuality. All right? Now, the third one is the vritti. Vritti. Vritti means inclination or tendency. Son como capas que va describiendo dada. La primera es lo más puro, puro que es Shurupyok. Un nivel más abajo está donde no entran los Vijays, que es la sexualidad, y los Kayais. Y, lo, y el tercer nivel es Vruti, que ahí voy a explicar. Vruti means. You don't do obvious visible sexual stuff, you see, you know. You know, it's not the visual activity, is but it is. You lean in that direction. There is something that makes you lean in that direction. You see? Bruti is que vos no entras en la sexualidad directamente visible, sino que te vas inclinando hacia la sexualidad en forma sutil. Yeah. Uh, So when you are beyond the vrutis, beyond there is something when you are beyond above the tendencies, higher when you are above the tendencies of sexuality, and when you are above the tendencies of any kashai, something you know, there has to be an inner inclination before you become angry. You are inclined to become angry, you see. So when you are not even inclined in that direction, you know. There is no inclination, there is no vrutti, there is no tendency, then that is called upyog. You see, that is called upyog. You know, your, your upyog means your, there is a higher awareness. You see, you are, you are here, this is where those things are there, but the other is next sentence is. Mm. Ah, let, let me translate. Eh, dice que cuando, eh, cuando vos estás por encima de esa inclinación es cuando tenés el upio, cuando ya no tenés esa inclinación eh, sutil hacia lo sexual, eh, es cuando estás en, en el tercer nivel de upio. And then the other immediately says our, our padus, our padus are without vishay or kashay, any pad. Any padus. padus, 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 songs of Akram Vignan, you know, Padus, you know, you know, all the songs of Akram Vignan, all the songs of Akram Vignan, there are so many songs written by Kaviraj, you know. You y know. todas nuestras canciones están más allá del Vishay de Kashai. Uh, without Vishay Kashai, you see, there is no sexuality or it, you know, attachment, abhorrence, anger, pride, deceit, greed. Hmm? Hmm? Right? Our pados. Right. Yeah. So this, Dada is saying our pados are beyond Vishay Kashai. Dada says then after the pados, 
doing this charan vidhi when you do the charan vidhi it is also without any vishay vishay means it is not moving towards any topic of pleasure you are you know you are in you are not moving towards any kind of kashai you see and then that is that mm -hmm. todos nuestros pados todas nuestras canciones están sin vishay kashai y luego nuestro charambidi también está totalmente sin mención a estos placeres eh, y a estas cosas. Yeah, yeah, charambidi too is without vishay kashai, you see, so Dada is going, and then finally Dada says, even in this three mantras, if you just sing the three mantra, you know, the result is very good. That's what the result is very good. Very good. Y aún en nuestro trimantra, cuando nosotros eh, cantamos nuestro trimantra, el resultado es muy bueno. So, you see, the other described the whole spectrum of opioc, should opioc, pure. Y ahí first. Dada está describiendo todo el espectro de nuestro should opioc. Absolute should pure opioc is um, pura, 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 seeing. The pure and the pure, nothing else is seen. Everything is pure. Everyone is pure. You see? Nuestro más alto espectro de, de Yudupio, que es nuestra alma pura, es todo puro, puro, todo es puro. Yeah, and next one is, where there is no sexuality and there is no anger, pride, deceit, greed. A little, you know, that's... La próxima es cuando no hay sexualidad y no hay ira, orgullo, engaño y codicia. Next one is, there is not even any subtle moment uh, due to traces of subatomic particles of vishay or anger, pride, deceit and greed. There's a little tendency, you know. Not y la otra es cuando no hay ningún rastro de ningún este, parmanu de vishay o de ir orgullo, engaño o codicia. Urutio. And then the next one below oh. it is pados. You sing the pados, pados, you know, the songs. Pados. Sí, la... Y la que está más abajo son nuestros pados, nuestras canciones, nuestros, nuestras plegarias que están totalmente libres de vijays y callais. Mm -hmm. So we have to remain singing in the first level. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just anything, you know. I'll take up the charan with the, and, you know, read the arti, that is shutupyog. That's also upyog. When you read when you, even if you don't do the arti, if you read the words of the arti, it's, you know, you're in good of yoga, should of yoga, you know. So th there is no, you know, and when you do the three mantra, like our dear Gabi did, you know. Yeah. Le pregunto a Judah, entonces nos tenemos, en el primer nivel tenemos que estar cantando y con, con los iris. Y se ríe y dice que sí, que todas nuestras canciones y, y nuestro trimantra este, tienen muy buenos efectos contra los hijos. So, so he gave us so many. He gave, gave us some which are absolutely pure. You don't have to do anything. He told, he says, just understand. Just sit here first. Sit here. <laughs> Sí, dice sí. que no tenemos que hacer nada, simplemente entender. Entonces Dada decía, síntense acá, síntense acá. Understand. I've given you everything. You choose what, how you'd like to be, you know. You choose. <laughs> Ustedes eligen como quieren ser. Yeah. And, you know, the, and there is a song by Kaviraj, which is very famous. He has taken it out of a famous Bollywood movie. Uh, yeah, una canción muy famosa de Kaviraj. Ame keva punya shadi bhagavan ni bhumika, bhagavan ni bhumika. A de he me nihari. A beautiful line, you see. You know, it's a very famous Bollywood song, very famous. Every Indian knows that song. And he used that melody 
totally change it around <coughs> and put his Akram Vignan words, you see. De una muy famosa canción de Bollywood, eh, del, del cine, él sacó la melodía y le puso las palabras de la Crambiñan. So the first line is, how merit laden, punia. Do we have, you see, how good karma do we have, you know, punia, if, you know, I mean, keva, study. Es que tan buen punia o buen karma hemos tenido. Bhagavan ni bhumika, the, the state of the Lord. State of God. You see? That's the second line. La segunda línea es el estado de Dios. And the third line is third line is beautiful. The stage of God and the state of God has been realized in this body by us. We realize. El estado de Dios que se ha manifestado por nosotros en este cuerpo. We, we can see it. We can see it. So it's very beautiful and it's very simple. This song, you can, you know, you can uh, later on, you can Google it uh, in our Dada Bhagwan and the whole song will come. <clears throat> It simply goes like this. Ame keva punya shadi Bhagavan ni bhumika Adehe ame nihadi Beautiful. How? Just wow. What kind of merit karma? has opened up for us that in this body we see the space of the Lord. We see the land of the Lord. <laughs> we see the, the we see the established presence of the Lord, you see. You know. Y la, la letra dice que tan buen karma hemos tenido que hemos visto la tierra del Lord. Hemos, lo hemos visto establecido. And he goes on to write some very beautiful words. And this is one of the early, early pados, pados written by Kaviraj in the presence es of Lord. Es uno de los pados más tempranos escritos por Kaviraj. And he, and he sang in the, in, in the presence of Dada. Whenever Dada is you know, takes a pause in such song, you know, because Dada will say, okay, all right. He looks at Kaviraj, okay, sing a pad. <laughs> <laughs> Dice que Dada estaba en los satsangs en, lo, en los primeros, primeros momentos y Dada decía, bueno, ahora vamos a escuchar a Kaviraj cantar un pato. Entonces and lo he, cantaba en el, en el medio del satsang. And he had such a glorious, big, deep voice. He doesn't need any music, but you know. Y él tenía esa voz tan gloriosa que ni siquiera necesitaba, los cantaba a capela. Yeah, you know, yeah, yet he knew how to play the harmonium, so he'll play it in in the right key, you know. He'll just just to get the right keys. And sí. you can imagine everybody oh, just listening and saying, Wow, wow, man, you know, right in front of the Lord. <laughs> Dada, we y se puede imaginar a todo el mundo diciendo wow, wow, con la voz de Kaviraj y con esas palabras ahí en frente del Lord. Right in front of this Lord, we are seeing, beginning to see the Lord inside us, you know, in this body. <laughs> y estamos empezando a ver al Lord dentro de nuestro, dentro de este cuerpo. And the Mahatmas know this song by heart, you know, like those ones, you know, my, they, now the words are provided in a book, so then, you know, they just refer to the book, but anyway, check yeah, it out. Aquellos primeros Mahatmas sabían esta canción de memoria, que ahora ya se ha transcrito en los libros y en el, en el website. Así que bueno, chequenla si pueden. There's a lot of scientific uh, gnan words being used later on in the different stanzas, you know. 
Uh, it's like Muchas palabras the, científicas están están usadas en estas canciones. By the time you have finished reading or singing the pad, you have been in beautiful opiog, you know. You have there is no element. Para el momento que hayan terminado de leer o cantar estos pados, vamos a estar en un hermoso upoyog. Yeah, there is. Yeah, it's all a moment in the direction of. The Lord that I am, you know. Is, Todo ese movimiento es en dirección del Lord que yo soy. Yeah, the world is forgotten. Oops, I'm going beyond time here. Okay. <laughs> the world is forgotten. The world is forgotten when the Upiyog is happening, you know. Hmm? Wonderful. La palabra se olvida cuando el Upiyog pasa. Yeah, Shuddhatma Bhagwan. Yeah. May, may we be in the Shuddha Piyoga. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Dami. Thank you, Dami. And, 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 uh, and, and Marcela, yes. Sorry for interrupting you sometimes in the translation. <laughs> huh? What is it? No, Sorry for in interfering. No, no, in no, your, no. In no, no, no. There is no interference. It's beautiful, you know. It is just inter happening so beautifully. It's flowing like a river. Okay. Of, of love and river of enlightenment and river of light, whatever you want to call it. Hmm? Should that not be one? Jay Sachidanan. Huh? Jay Sachidanan. Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. Jay Sachidanan. Jay Sachidanan. Jay Sachidanan. Jay Sachidanan, Alicia, and everyone. Huh? Yes, 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 Jay Sachidanan.